Hey friends, I'm not sure how long we'll be able to be on. As you can see, the EM detector is off the charts. This is insanely high. Um, so <laughs> where we are in the cemetery, our phones aren't working in a normal way. Jessica's phone kicked off. We had a heck of a time just finding an internet connection. So there's a lot of extra activity here at the cemetery where you can all see the graves. Um, I'm not having necessarily the same focusing problem Jessica was having, but as we were saying, the EM field is, mm. oh yeah, it's up to 72, 83, it's, it's going crazy, yeah. So we're coming right here upon this grave, is the one that they're it's going off at? Yeah. Thomas Kane, age 21, he died. Mm, in the November fire? 26, 1908. Okay, so Thomas, this one is for you. We want to make sure that all of our people know you so that you're recognized. And that appeased him. And that appeased him. Okay. All right. Yeah, it, it, Debbie, it is super, super high. And it's just popped back up again now that we're over this next grave. Like, everyone wants a chance. Everybody wants to say hello. So. Uh, W.M. Smith. W.M. Smith. Okay, W.M. Yeah, it's already past the 100 I'm mark. Getting vertigo. Not here yeah, Jessica's getting vertigo. So we probably can't be out here for too long. It's obviously very, very active. But we do want to show you the many, many dead out here. It is a huge cemetery. All of these poor boys who burned to death. Just trying to make a living. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see how far away. Yeah, it goes. It's hard to see, but it goes all the way out. That's a pretty good shot. It goes all the way out. It's not a small cemetery. It's huge, and it's dedicated to all the miners who died in the Belmont And fire. we might have to flip over and just do a video that we post to YouTube. So if we end up losing connection again out here, we'll just do some uh, video from our phone, if our phone will let us, and then post it on YouTube. And the readers. Right here. So this is Orson Avery. Orson Avery wanted to say hello, obviously. He's yeah. 72. 72. That's an old timer <laughs> for sure. So we found out the rumor saying in 111 was somebody, you know, lots of elderly I'm used put to it come. On you? Is it what you're... Ooh, okay. I don't want my face okay. on there. Okay. <laughs> lots of elderly would come out to these hotels and and have their last days here. And so one of the hotels, that, the room that we're staying in, was an elderly man who was ready to be gone and mm -hmm. not be a burden on his family. So yeah. we'll post that in the comments. Right, so we're in room 111 and that's where the older gentleman was praying for death, dying from cancer, didn't want to be a burden, and uh, eventually just he committed suicide to finish his life. Uh, because so, he said the dark shadowy figure that came every morning in the wee hours of the morning refused to take him. So, in the wee hours of tomorrow morning, if I make any friends, I'll let you guys know, okay? <laughs> 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 so, we're going to walk some of the length. Until our phone stops. Yeah. Because now I'm getting that blur out effect that Jessica had. Yeah, which is not the internet because even when we were taking picture pictures, it was our phones not yeah. focused. So certainly there is uh, an element of good times to be had. <laughs> and I love that all of these, because, you know, we're here in the caliche clay, uh -huh. so it's very hard to dig graves. Yes. That's why a lot of these are pretty shallow graves, and they have, like, these partial cairns that have been piled up for the... Uh, the the individuals who are buried here each one is ringed in stones you know new orleans the ground is so wet that they have to bury above ground in the sarcophagi that you find out west where it's so dry and hard you just have to bury them very shallow and then they will mark them out with, with the these stone. stones so numerous numerous dead this does go on for a long ways and like we said unfortunately since it's so dark we can't really show you think about a flashlight we didn't darn it and we're sorry for that we wish that we had um this has gone off uh -uh. yeah Did so they turned it off no they just turned it off oh. wow and it's spiking right away yeah so it's just raising and raising and raising 
It's going to keep going up like that. Mm -hmm. So definitely a lot of activity. Okay. We should try to give attention to all of those who are passed on here, but there's too many, obviously. We just wanted to give you all a chance to see and to know. So for all the people who come out here just to provoke to get paranormal activity, we prefer to come out here and honor them. Yeah. Let them know that they're remembered. That's all the dead want, is to be remembered. Right. That's all anyone ever wants. Right, yeah, I mean, and that's where you can tell, you know, obviously, that there have been quite a few of these. You know, they obviously couldn't afford the kind of iron gates that you find back east, but they would do these wood gates to try to honor their family member and give them some sense of privacy and security. It looks like an old bed frame, probably. Did they turn off your EM field thing again? No, it just dropped down, so I guess we had someone satisfied, but now that we're coming back to it, it looks like it's spiking up again. And yes, Debbie, it is so sad. Too many lives lost far too soon. Watch your step for the stone, Jess. I don't think these get a lot of attention other than... People coming out here for paranormal. Yeah, occasionally. Some of these poor old souls obviously don't even have people who have uh, put a ring around their grave. They just... Let's give him some respect. This is... Let's see, I can't read. Um, M.A. Hill. Something M.A. Hill. Yeah. M.A. Hill. We're sorry you didn't have anyone who could put rocks around, put rocks around your grave. This is another interesting feature. You notice these are all wooden posts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most of us are used to uh, stone grave marble. markers or marble grave markers, but these are all just wooden. Supposedly some of the tales are... You know, you can hear conversations down the hallways of the hotel. Mm -hmm. Or out here at night mm -hmm. as well. And JC said he's seen a few what yeah. look like miners. There were a few. Uh, it's more activity in the, in the primary room where the collection is. Um, there's a lot of activity out here, obviously, as you can see on your own with the, the EM field detector. And then there's spots where there's no activity. Oh, or very low. So you see it does fluctuate now it's coming back up again so it, it does fluctuate but there are spots with no activity and other spots with a great deal of activity there's some other people out here on the grave right now yeah I'm off in the distance you can see them time. out there that's a beautiful yeah probably a very wealthy family very nice grave Trust your dreams, says his. Tombstone says, trust your dreams. Died in 1906. Hmm. That's nice. All right. So I think right now what we're going to do, take a few questions while we're out here. And sure. And switch over to our video so we can post it. Onto YouTube. And then we can all investigate it to see if there's anything, any anomalies that we see. Absolutely. So we're going to stay here. For a few minutes. For just for a few questions. minutes. Any questions? Hi, Amy. Um, so any questions anybody has, historical, paranormal, metaphysical, anything at all, we're here to answer any questions that you might have. Shot the moon. <laughs> the moon is very nearly full. She's a beauty tonight. Hanging over this beautiful Nevada desert. Hanging over this beautiful cemetery. It's about 73 degrees outside, and for us it feels about 50 degrees because there's nothing. Humidity. No humidity at all, which makes it super, super refreshing. All right, so if there's any questions anybody has or anything that you'd like to see from here, we already have a tribe member asking for souvenirs from here. If there's anything that you would like us to curate for you or get for you and send to you back home, let us know. Absolutely. If there's anything you'd like us to video or show you, give us suggestions, comments. Amy, uh, did they use coffins? I, I would think that they would have used coffins, but I think that the point to laying the stones is to just mark out the graves. 
Connie says hi. Sammy says following very lovely inside at the same time. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, they're feeling appeased because Look, we went zero. from 100 down to zero. So I, I feel like that's, for the rest of you who are watching, a pretty good indication that they're satisfied with being recognized, spoken to, spoken of. And in a respectful manner. Because respectful the other manner, thing yeah. that we like to tell people the same way as Crow's Cupboard loves to educate, empower, enlighten everyone, not only in our spiritual and metaphysical endeavors, but also our paranormal endeavors. Because, you know, when you see these people get out here and goose people and, you know, shoot and hoop well, and yeah, holler and provoke... Hit, hit someone's nerve because yeah then they don't like that you know no. and so the same as you'd want respect here if a friend came over to visit and just started slamming your doors and asking you to react how would you react so if you come out here and you show respect whatever graveyard you go to that's all they want that's all they want they just want respect they do not want to be harassed and they don't want to be triggered just like we don't want to be triggered right. at all uh to answer your question amy yeah the Belmont fire happened in 1911, so all of these graves are at or before 1911. Um, let's see. Yeah, whenever you touch it, yeah. it's weird. Peggy wanted to go here for three years. Aww. Now, you're welcome, Peggy. Hopefully you'll still have a chance to make it out of here. Jennifer says, if you were to leave them gifts, what type would you leave since they had a horrible death? You know, the universal gifts that we... If you don't know the dead well enough to leave them tobacco or alcohol or food offerings. And also aspirin. I always leave aspirin because that's universally accepted. Aspirin is a great offering for any grave because, because anyone who died went through pain. Rest assured that the pain relief gesture of leaving aspirin soothes them. And as you can tell, the EMF readers, you know, calm me down a little bit. So yeah, aspirin is universally accepted. It's a great gift for any of the dead. I also like to leave bread that seems almost universally mm -hmm. accepted. Absolutely. I also like to leave a lot of candy. Most people love candy. But if you know the dead, leave them something particular if you can. Um, flowers are good, Amy. Yes, water is very good. Um, and then Debbie says, have a good time investigating S.H.I.E.L.D. and have a good yes, night. Yes, we clearly absolutely. have, as always, in any energy activity, oh, somebody's talking, as <sighs> any energy activity, whether that's spiritual, metaphysical, or paranormal, you should always be grounding, connecting, protecting, yes. carrying protective talismans on you, and carrying whatever religious uh you know iconography or tools that you use in your mm -hmm. specific practices and if you don't you're doing it wrong yes. i'll tell you that right now if you're just out here like some chucklehead triggering the dead and doing nothing to protect yourself you're hurting yourself yeah. and you're upsetting them so take the right precautions protect yourself and always be respectful and always consider them as you would any human who suffered that they are deserving of respect they're Absolutely. deserving of love so all right all right so we're gonna get off here we are going to do um some video Ooh, well they're <laughs> deciding if they want to talk to us we're going to do some just videos from our phone and upload those videos um mm -hmm. and so we will let you all see that and give you a link to that soon as we're done and Absolutely. amy says yep ty jessica respect the dead yes, yes absolutely, absolutely. Amy says, you guys make me so happy. I love this. I feel so much. Very I feel good. this so very much. Yes. Good. That's what we're here all for. All right. Well, we love you all. We love all as of always. you. Uh, gonna... DM us if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or anything that you'd like us to get while we are on our work. Yes. Vacation. Please let us know. We're still going to respond to DMs. So we're going to sign off from the lovely Clown Hotel and here the Totopaz Cemetery. Take care of yourselves. We love you all, and hopefully we'll hear you, uh, hear from you in our DMs. We'll Absolutely. see you. Love you. Love Take you. care. Bye.